Welcome back to Steps to Freedom, Miraculous Number 7, Part 2. We're going to be taking a look at anxiety disorders tonight. Um, you're going to do exactly what you did for the overcoming rejection in listening to the video, taking notes, writing down some things, and then going all the way to the end towards the prayer time and follow along with Brother Mike as he prays for you. So last week, I talked about get wisdom, get knowledge and understanding, and read your Bible. Um, this week is anxiety disorders. And this is week eight. All right, so you're watching the videos. Like I said, two weeks ago, you were asked to watch Overcoming Rejection, and I hope that was beneficial for you. This week, um, we're looking at anxiety disorders. Mike does a great teaching. It's called Anxiety Reduction, and there's so much great information in there. There's videos. Um, it's going to help you understand if you deal with any kind of anxiety or fear, phobia issues. This video is going to help you so much. So... You're going to watch the video. You want to get your notebook. You want to take some notes down. You're going to go to the YouTube channel for Hardcore Christianity. Um, that's the House of Healing AZ and type in anxiety reduction. Okay. Anxiety reduction. My PowerPoint doesn't move as quickly as I'd like it to. So we have to pause. Um, <clears throat> so you're going to finish watching tonight. We're going to start watching the video and then you're going to finish watching the video. You're going to listen, take notes, and then right at two hours and eight minutes is where the prayer time begins. So like I said, um, two weeks ago, you want to be in a quiet place. You want it to be private. You want to have some tissues nearby. You want to have a little trash can for your tissues and you want to go through the prayers, okay? Maybe it doesn't apply to you exactly, but use it anyway. Use that this time to get some spirits out. Yawning, spirits come out through tears. Yawning, coughing. You might spit out something. You might throw up. You might have to run to the bathroom. You might sneeze. Okay, these are all different ways that spirits come out. Just let them come out, okay? And pray along and learn how to do some self-deliverance. All right. I want to mention as a reminder to you <clears throat> that every Wednesday at 7 p.m. Mountain Standard Time, we have a Zoom deliverance call. Oh, no. We have a Zoom deliverance call with Rick Cott. If you go on to Facebook, oh, no. If you go on to Facebook and, excuse me, go to Steps of deliverance there you will find the zoom link and the access code okay there it is wednesday nights okay zoom deliverance go on there uh, turn your camera on he gives a little message he'll pray for you let him know hey i need some prayer they'll pray for you there are ministers on there they start at about 7 p.m and it goes all the way to midnight Arizona time, Mountain Standard Time. So if you're on the East Coast, they're doing it till 3 o'clock in the morning. You can find time. If you're in California, I think we're on the same time zone right now. So go on Steps of Deliverance on Facebook and look for the Zoom link. All right. And also, we have service here. If you're in Phoenix, whoops, if you're in Phoenix, uh, please get down here. If you're in the state of Arizona, maybe you can make a trip. We have people that come from Prescott, Arizona, Flagstaff. People come up from Tucson all the time. Um, make the service. It is well worth it. Thursday nights, Rick Cott, he preaches. It's a great service. We start at 7 p.m. Friday nights, uh, Mike Smith will preach. David Baldwin will preach sometimes. Peter V will preach and Brother Francis. So come and check it out on Friday nights. And we always have deliverance service afterwards. Okay, we looked at overcoming rejection. And this week we're talking about anxiety and it's called anxiety reduction. So go on to that Arizona um, House of Healing AZ on YouTube and type in anxiety reduction and you should be able to find it. I hope you enjoy it. And we'll see you next week.
Thanks.